Hello friends, in this video I am sharing my lesson plan of class 8 chapter 2, the tsunami. This lesson plan is for reference. If you suggest something to be deleted or something to be added in the lesson plan, kindly let me know in the comment box. Introductory information, date on which the lesson plan is written, chapter name, the tsunami, class, genre of the chapter, it's a froze. Number of periods needed, I will need 5 periods for this chapter, 2 for explanation, 1 for question answer, 1 for assessment and evaluation and 1 for chapter based activity. The form of chapter, it's a report. Learning objective, general objective is to enhance the vocabulary and comprehension of students to enable them to pronounce the words and phrases given in the chapter properly. Specific objective. To educate students on natural calamities since the chapter is based on a natural calamity. To encourage them to be brave in front of hardship and atrocities. To be attentive in class citing example of Telesmith, one character given in the chapter. The knowledge, prior knowledge that I need to have for this chapter is knowledge of natural calamities. I should be able to tell students about these natural calamities, the kind of natural calamities like earthquake, Drought, Flood, Tsunami, Volcano, Storm, Hurricane, etc. I need to have some information about 2004 mass Massive Tsunami as well on which the chapter is based. It happened on 26 December 2004 when an undersea mega thrust earthquake happened which was of the magnitude of 2.1 sorry 9.1 to 9.3. The epicenter was off the coast of northern Sumatra, Indonesia. Due to this massive underwater earthquake, series of massive tsunami waves grew up to 30 meter, once heading inland, after being created by the underwater seismic activity offshore. Communities along the surrounding coast of Indian Ocean were severely affected and the tsunamis killed at least 2 to 7, 8, 9, 8 people in 14 countries, making it one of the deadliest natural disaster in recorded history. The most affected countries were Sri Lanka, Tamil Nadu, India and Thailand. Preparatory activity which is also warm up activity. I will give one speaking activity to students. I will ask them to share their experience of any natural disaster that they have witnessed. Teaching aids. My teaching aids for this chapter would be textbook, blackboard, atlas or geography book to show the locations of affected areas. Methodology. So, I will introduce this chapter by giving some information about natural calamities. I will also ask questions based on natural disaster to students like what kind of natural disaster they don't, do they know about and how to deal with such kind of natural disasters. I will also ask them about tsunami affected areas and about people affected. After introduction, Lecture method will be adopted for explanation. Students will read the chapter paragraph wise and explanation will be given by the teacher with focus on vocabulary. References or linkage with other chapter or topics. This chapter can be given to, can be linked to not giving up in front of atrocities. For example, our brave soldiers who face all hardships in the border areas but they don't give up, they still protect the nation with all the bravery. And we can also give present day example of coronavirus warriors who are facing all the atrocities but, face, but fighting this disease in the front line. The theme of the chapter is bravery in face of atrocities to realize the importance of human life and helping is a beautiful concept of life. Now vocabulary apart from those given in the text I will also give some extra vocabularies like calamity, atrocities, sympathy, etc. After teaching the chapter, I will make the children do some chapter based activities like uh, students to write on how will they protect themselves and other if there is earthquake, fire, stampede or if someone gets a heart attack. Recapitulation of the chapter. I will recapitulate the chapter through mind map 
in which I will highlight the life events of all the characters given in the chapter. Like Ignatius first, he was manager of corporate society. He felt tremors early morning and rushed out of house. When tremors stopped, he saw sea rising. His two children, wife, father-in-law and brother swept away. Ignatius and his three children survived. Then Sanjeev, he was a policeman in Kutchal Island, managed to save himself, his wife and baby, jumped to space, save John the cook's wife and lost his life. Meghna, 13-year-old girl, swept away with 70 other people, floated on a log of wood for two days, was brought to shore by waves. Almas Javed, 10-year-old student of Kamal Convent, her father alerted everyone when he saw sea rising. Grandfather and father swept with giant wave. Mother and aunt swept away as the tree on which they were clinging uprooted. Almas kept floating on a log and fainted and woke up in a hospital. Tilly Smith, 10-year-old girl who came to celebrate Christmas in Thailand with family, saw sea rising and forming bubbles and whirlpools. Remembered lessons she learned in England, screamed and took people to safer places, saved many lives because of attentiveness. And animals, not many animals were hurt in tsunami. People believe that animals have six sense and know what the, when the earth is going to shake. Some experts believe that animals have acute hearing power and can feel earth's vibration. So this is the mind map and this is how I am going to recapitulate the minds of students. For assessment and evaluation, I will give some questions to students like who was Ignatius, how many of his family members survived, did Sanjeev survive, where was Meghna while tsunami happened, how did Almas Javed survive, how was Tilly Smith able to save many lives, why do you think few animals died in tsunami. And we can add more while teaching the chapter. For assignment, I will give the work of making a chart on all natural calamities that happened in India between in 2019 and 20. My remedial teaching plan for absentees and weak learners. During recapitulation, focus will be given to on absentees and weak learners and they will understand the chapter well through mind map. So this was the lesson plan of the tsunami. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe for more videos.